Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Listen, listen. We all know that sound can sometimes be very unpleasant. Noise. Or very pleasant, like music. Or the sound of the sea, the sound of water. But what makes us like or dislike sound? Does it sound familiar or strange? Well, today we're going to learn just that. Today, we're going to get to know the qualities of sound. Yes, that's right. Sound has qualities. Just as children can be blonde or dark, tall or short, large or slim. Each sound has its own characteristics, qualities that distinguish it from others. The things is that these characteristics are not visible. All, absolutely all sounds have four qualities. Intensity, pitch, timber, and duration. The first quality, intensity, is very easy to recognize as it is what we usually call volume. Yes, exactly. Just like when you turn the TV volume up or down. For instance, intensity allows us to differentiate between a loud sound and a soft sound. Loud sounds can sometimes be very annoying and can even damage our ears. While soft or quiet sounds can be difficult to hear. Pitch is the quality of the sound that helps us to know whether the sound we hear is high-pitched or low-pitched. For example, the sound of this whistle is very high-pitched, as well as the voice of this opera singer. However, the sound of this engine is very deep. And so is the man's voice. Welcome. Get it? High pitched, low pitched. Another quality of sound is the timber. <laughs> the timber of a sound is what makes us recognize what or who produces it. For example, who would you say is making this sound? Yes, a cow. And this one? Very good. It's the class bell. And it means that it's time for recess. <laughs> but thanks to the timber, we also recognize the voices of our loved ones. Like mommy or daddy's voice, or musical instruments. Listen! That sounds like a recorder. The last quality we're going to learn is the duration. The duration of a sound is what makes it possible to tell if a sound is short or long. The sound a duck makes is short and the sound a wolf makes is long, isn't it? Hey! Now let's review. There are four qualities of sound. Intensity, pitch, timber, 
and duration. Intensity is the volume and it can be strong or weak. Pitch is what allows us to differentiate a high pitch sound from a low pitch sound. Timber allows us to recognize what or who is producing the sound. This is my cat, Trasto. And duration is what allows us to tell if a sound is short or long. And this sound is my doorbell. It's high-pitched, loud and long. And it means that they're coming to pick me up to go out and play. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Shh. Listen, listen. What's that? It sounds... It sounds like a piano. <laughs> What's that? That's laughter. Someone's being tickled. What's that? Is it an elephant? Or a trumpet that's a bit out of tune? Do you know what all these things have in common? Of course, they're sounds. And today, we're going to find out lots of amazing things about it. About sound. What is sound? Sound is a sensation produced in the ear from the vibrations of something. But do you know what a vibration is? A vibration is a very fast movement of something. That is to say, something that's moving many, many times per second. Look at the surface of this drum when it's being hit. It vibrates. And that vibration travels through the air in the form of waves until it reaches our ears. It is like when we throw a stone in the water. When the stone enters the water, it forms circles around the area. They are ripples. We see them because the water moves. And all the sounds we hear Leo. are waves produced by vibrations. Where are you? Vibrations that hit the air, just like the stone entering the water. Leo. And when the sound hits the air, it also makes the air move, forming waves. Oh, there you are. But as the air is transparent, we don't see it. Look, look at how the vibrations of the strings of a guitar forms waves travel through the air. And did you know that these waves can travel through different things by many mediums? Yes, they can travel through air, through water, or through solid things like metal or wood. The truth is that sound waves can travel a long way, can't they? Well, we now know how sound is produced. But how do we humans hear it? We hear it thanks to our hearing. The ear is the organ in our body that is trained to perceive sound. Sound waves enter through it so we can hear. It's a good thing we have ears because I love hearing music. Now, let's review. Sound is a sensation produced in the ear when it receives sound waves produced by the vibrations of something. It can be the strings of a guitar, the vocal cords of a person, or the vibrations produced by the wings of a mosquito. Ah, oh, how annoying! These vibrations emit waves that travel through air water or something solid and we can perceive these waves through the ear which is the organ in our body that is able to capture them oops 
Listen, listen. It's Leo, my dog, who wants to go for a walk. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.